what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys today i've got a sinus infection so if it sounds like i'm a little congested that's why but the update just came out and i'm super super excited about it i've already got some stuff built that we're going to be working with i built my other uh mortar i brought it up to level seven so it's not mock it's not maxed out i just wanted to get it to where the other ones are i do have one level eight though that i have upgraded We've also got our traps in here. They're all level three and ready to go. It only takes six hours to get up to level two, and I think it was 24 to get up to level three. I'm not too sure. Um, but we just got those up for you guys so that hopefully we can get an attack and have a defense in here <clears throat> that just looks awesome. But let's go ahead and go over these patch notes. Let's go over the news. So first of all, the new trap. You guys saw my video yesterday on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. It's going to be a game changer for sure. Next, you can so you can set the trap to air or ground, as I already talked about, and it starts off at Town Hall 8. Um, next, limited time treats lasting through Halloween weekend. One gym spell factory boost special is back, which is awesome because I'm not even doing it, but my thing's full. We're just going to go ahead. I'm not going to boost it yet. I'll boost it once I need it. Um, so we've got that coming out. Also, harvest some bonus elixir from the special headstones. I'm going to keep all mine because I don't need that elixir. I'm going to keep them as decorations just like the Christmas trees. One of the coolest parts about the game is like having a little souvenir from where you, uh, from <clears throat> how long you've been at the game. So uh, next, clan profile and clan church. Specify your clan's war frequency and location in the clan profile. You can also search other clans by war frequency, location, member count, and clan points. That's awesome. It's going to make things a lot more easy uh, for everyone. And for those of you who love clan wars, I like clan wars, but... I don't do them too much, um, but for those of you who really, really like Clan Wars, then that's a great way for you guys to search out new clans. Now, me, Av, and Nick are going to be doing uh, Clan War for sure in our new clan, so definitely be ready for that. Next, new mortar, as we already showed you guys at Town Hall 8. I got a new base build coming out for you guys. I've already implemented it in this design, so I'll go over that with you guys, and also look forward to a base design video that is going to be coming out very soon of how I switched some things up on this base and kind of explained it because a lot of y'all don't know about this base and how it works. Uh, next, boost all buildings at the same time. So you can see uh, I could come over here to my barracks and I can click boost for two hours for 10 gems <clears throat> or boost all for 40, uh, which is really, really cool. <clears throat> it's just going to make it easier for us like it's not a game changer or anything, but it's just going to make things easier as you as you work and play through the game. Also, um, the army buildings pause during maintenance, which is awesome. The uh, loot buildings, like gold mines, elixir, or dark elixir drills, and things like that. Why don't we go ahead and do that? We'll just boost this so you can see boost all one day. Yes, please. So those are boosted now <coughs> with the click of one button, which is awesome. But it doesn't stop while you're gone because that way when you come back from maintenance, you've got loot, right? Yep. <laughs> So that's awesome. Uh, player profile now shows the highest unlock level of troops, heroes, and spells, and increased league bonus and war loot. So that's awesome. We have a Barts trained up. We're going to attack with it. I'm going to see how the fourth mortar, if I attack a base that has a fourth mortar already, affects it. And we're going to see how much more loot we can get. But we can come up in here and we can go to my player profile. And uh, you can see right here at the top, the army, it shows you all of it which is awesome. That's really, really cool. Uh, you can view the clan, etc. Town Hall 11 confirmed. What? <laughs> That's the name of our clan. But anyways, we are going to uh, move on out and we are going to find an attack um, and see if we can find one with four mortars. So this one has one, two. Looks like this one only has three. He's not even building it. Uh, but I definitely want to... Why, why don't we stay together on this search so we can see uh, what everybody has because I think that'll be really cool just to see who all has fourth mortars and who doesn't. Uh, I imagine most people are, might be building them on the side but not have them fully upgraded. If I was up in Masters League, then 100% uh, you would see a bunch of people with fourth mortars already, already maxed out, all that kind of stuff. We can even go check out some bases if you want to up at the top of the charts and see what it's looking like up there because I imagine everybody is redesigning their bases, all this kind of stuff. That's going to be really, really cool to see. Um, but I'll go ahead and see if I can find a base to attack and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds. Alright guys, so we are going to attack this base from the top. I'm going to take out uh, this mortar right here. See if we can get... Oh, and also, look at that lightning spell. They look so freaking sweet now with the bats coming out. Um, we are going to take out this one as well. Look at the bats. Watch it. Boom! It looks so freaking cool. 
Uh, Supercell crushed that for sure. And let's go ahead and Barshus. This guy does have a gym box on the outside. He doesn't have his fourth mortar up yet. He is building it over there on the side, as you can see. We'll just drop our king down to help out with a little bit of a distraction. Let's drop some bats on these fools over here and take all of them out. We are going to get up into this base. Once we break through that wall, I'm going to use the king's ability. How did I not take out all those troops? That's annoying. So once we get all the barbarians around him, we're going to use the king's ability right there. He is going to go crazy. Uh, he does have single target inferno towers, which might not end up too well for my king if he gets targeted. Um, he's already running into the center of the base. We're getting a good amount of gold. I definitely want to get in here and uh, <clears throat> get this gold storage over here on the left. That inferno tower is wrecking my troops because it is single target. Uh, but we did get two of the gold storages. And now we're working on the center of the base. I hope my queen doesn't get targeted down. Let's go, queen. Take out that Inferno Tower. There she goes. We're going to use her ability so she doesn't get targeted for too long. Take out that Expo. And then hopefully take out that Dark Elixir storage as well. But she's about to get focused down and die in 1-2 now. <laughs> she got taken out super, super quick. Um, we got 45%. We got the Town Hall too. And this base is upgraded pretty well i would say um he does have two things building over here looks like uh i'm not even sure what maybe some traps 132,000 elixir 83,000 or 130,000 gold uh 83,000 elixir and then 35,000 from the loot bonus and that was all with barch my friends that was all with barch i'm gonna use barch as long as i can until it is not viable anymore because of the mortars coming out. So hopefully we are able to uh, get... Now we can boost this. Let's see what happens. So yeah, just just boost for, for a day or for two hours uh, for one gem. Create those spells. Get those lightning spells up and working. And fill the rest of this out. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, the update. Talk about it with y'all. See how it's looking. I've got some gold. And I don't know what to do with it. How much is it? I'll save it to upgrade my mortars um because our wizards are maxed and we're just going to be farming we're going to be farming especially with all this new loot bonuses that are coming out and whatnot so this is going to be great but thank you so much for watching guys i really really do appreciate it and as always make sure you keep calm and clash on for me right i'll see you guys later peace